So today, went back to one of my favorite local pet stores, picked up some fish, and we got some plants for this 29 gallon aquarium behind me. But I'm gonna send you guys back to the fish store where I pick these fish up, and then when I come back, we'll be adding these fish to the aquarium, so stay tuned. Right now, we just at the fish store, just looking around, trying to see what I wanna get today, or if I'm gonna get anything. I haven't did a full tour of this place yet, and I definitely will come back soon to do a tour because there's so much here to see, but uh, that's not what today's video is about. Today, I'm gonna be trying to set up this new 29 gallon aquarium that I got. Well, it's already set up, but I wanted to get some plants and I wanted to get a couple things for it. So, what's going on? I wanted to get a couple of plants and a couple of things for it. So, I'm thinking about getting some crypts or maybe some of this Amazon sword. They got some cool Amazon sword up there or some crypts. So I'm thinking about getting some of that. I'm thinking about getting this guy down here. There's a nice red tail catfish in here. And I'm thinking about picking up. What you guys think is here, I should pick them up. And I've really been thinking about getting a whole school of these clown loaches, but those things are expensive to have a whole school of them. But I've been really thinking about it. Look at this super cool little nano thing. That's really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and make my decision. And then once I get home, I'll let you guys know. Stay tuned. Picked up some fish and we got some plants for this 29 gallon aquarium behind me. We went ahead and picked up these beautiful African cichlids. They are a blue lip, a Williams blue lip African cichlid. Um, here's a picture of them right here. This is what they look like when they get bigger. Beautiful fish, very stunning fish. So I got two trios of these. So they're gonna be going to this 29 gallon aquarium. Um, it's gonna be super awesome in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and add them in here now so they can start floating. We're gonna let them guys temperature acclimate in there for a while and then we will go ahead and add them. But we also picked up some cool plants today. Um, we got, let's see, beautiful Amazon swords that we're gonna be adding to this aquarium. This is another crypt. You guys know I love crypt, so we got a green Latia crypt right here. I believe I'm saying that name right. We got a green crypt and we got two Amazon swords. Also got some more crypts. You guys can see it in the back here. These are some red crypts. They're two different kinds of red crypts. One has like more of a, a longer narrow leaf, and this one has like a bigger leaf. So we're gonna be planting those into this aquarium also today. So we went ahead and picked up some mystery snail because I love mystery snail. They keep your tank halfway decent clean. They're not the best cleaner, but they do keep it a little bit clean and they look cool. And if you happen to breed them, you can make some money, right? So that's what's going in here. So we're gonna go ahead and get all this stuff into the aquarium and then I'll be back. It's been a while since I last put the camera up, but I decided to come down here to the fish room and take a look and check on the fish. And the tank is looking and doing good. It's still a little cloudy. You just need to settle a little bit because all the sand I stirred up. But I went ahead and added all the Williams blue lips in here. There's eight of them. No, excuse me, six of them in here. Um, so super excited about this fish. Uh, like I said, you guys seen the color of them, what they look like when they get bigger. They're very stunning, beautiful fish. We went ahead and added the mystery snails in here and all the crypt plants. That's the red crypt right here. I think I put one in the front and then one in the back. And I think over here we put another red one back here. And then I put these green crypts 
in the back so you guys can see it back there and we also added this amazon sword in here which is looking good um but overall super happy with this tank uh, this is one of those type of tanks that is going to look amazing as it mature when the fish get bigger when the plants grow in this tank is going to look amazing so super happy with it but the fish are super happy and getting adjusted they're liking the whole scape i can tell they're excited and i'm sure as they get more comfortable with me and get comfortable with the aquarium they will get super adjusted just need to let the tank settle a little bit more and uh it'll be crystal clear in probably like a day or so so i'll give you guys an update on that it had my buddy come over today i should have recorded but i didn't um, but he came over today and we are going to be setting up this aquarium and turn into a salt water tank we got all the particulars everything together we was deciding which tank we wanted to turn into a salt water um, he suggested that i start with something smaller this tank is going to be getting transferred to salt water and this whole system probably right here is going to be getting switched over probably use that as a sump and this would be the regular aquarium so we'll see that'll be upcoming in future video look how much these plants are growing in in this dovi tank and I was at the pet store today. He had another Dovi in there. I should have got it. But I really, really love that Dovi. But this tank is looking amazing. The rescue fish are still doing good. Haven't moved them yet. Um, but there's no aggression. There's no fighting. Everybody stays out of each other's way. It, it's working. So I'm going to leave it like it is for right now. But they definitely need a uh, bigger space. So just stay tuned. We have more coming. Good. Let's go ahead and feed these guys. Because they always hungry. So you guys can see all the African sickles that I have in here. There's tons of different species, Kenyas, Rusties, uh, Congo, Red Tops. I mean, there's so many different uh, species of African sickles in here. Um, but hopefully one day I will probably get these guys out of here and into a tank as they grow and get bigger so that we can really enjoy them. But right now this pond is perfect for them because they got so many hiding spaces and it's just amazing. For the people who seen the video from yesterday, of me rescaping this tank that came out absolutely amazing if you haven't seen that video uh, make sure you guys go check it out really nice it's electric blue car is just beautiful man i think i might have one of the most beautiful electric blue cars ever just that blue on them is just immaculate still one of my favorite tanks in my fish room the rainbow cichlids the vieja and we got the green tear and the angels. But overall, super happy with how this 29 gallon came out. I hope you guys learned something today. And if you did, make sure you guys give this video a big like and subscribe to my channel for more content. Um, if you got any suggestions on what um, other fish I should add, like I said, I probably do some type of pleco um, to this aquarium. Uh, so let me know in the comment section, what kind of rare pleco should I get? Because I can do a bristle nose. I got plenty of bristle noses. Or I can get something like a, a chocolate pleco, or I could get, you know, there's tons of different type of pleco. Look at this male right here. You can tell that's a male. So you can already see some of the color that's trying to come out on these fish, but they're gonna look amazing and super beautiful as they get bigger. All right, so that's my time. If you guys enjoyed today's video, man, smash that like button, man. Leave a comment and make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you can be notified when I drop more of these videos. If not, I'm gone. I'll catch you guys in my next one. I'll holla.